All right, we are back here on the 440 project. Right now we're gonna be getting the rear main seal in. So um, I'll do a little close up and then put the camera on the stand. Uh, first of all, it's pretty cold out and uh, sub freezing. So I've got a heat lamp just kind of warming things up so that it's a more workable environment and uh, suitable to let this Permatex oil resistant gasket maker uh, RTV type sealant actually cure. Um, so, okay, here's the deal with these seals. Um, I've looked into it a bit. I've talked to a buddy of mine who's an engine builder and uh, I think I can explain this. This seal has a lip and ironically, uh, when I took this engine apart, the seal was in backwards. So, um, of course, it's a complete rebuild. I've got all new parts, so I'm putting it in and scratching my head a bit, wondering, okay, the direction of this seal, uh, of course, it has to be right. So the way this works is, I'll try to get a, a good straight-on shot so you can see the cross-section. There's this lip, and I'll call this the big end of the lip, and underneath it is a little bit of a groove, okay, right down in here. And if you can imagine the crankcase... Uh, the engine, the inside of the engine is going to be filled with pressure and it's going to want to push that up. Of course, the weight of the crank, everything torqued down, the, the crankshaft itself uh, is going to be pushing on that so it has a tight seal. Uh, but during engine operation, that is going to want to push up and enhance the seal. Now, if you look at the other side of this, it's like a ramp, okay? And if you would flip this seal around, of course, it'll fit and you think, well, that'll help the oil maybe drain back into the engine. But if you think about it, it's pressurized. So if this was backwards, the pressure would push this down. So you'd have a ramp basically wanting to push the oil, you know, find a way out of the engine, the pressure then pushing the seal down and opening it up. So uh, I believe this is correct. Of course, I, I read the package and it said to also put the big edge facing into the engine but it's always good to think about it from like an engineering perspective how does this stuff work and uh, make sure you get it right now you can put those in dry um, what I chose to do was I put a little bit of sealant uh, on this back side so the whole front half of this thing is dry it's the rubber seal against the metal but I put a small amount of RTV in there before I pop the seal in and then I wiped it with my finger uh, just to make sure it's clean. And yeah, just uh, make sure that any oil that should get past there hits a little bit of RTV. Okay, then there's this uh, cap that goes over the rear main seal. Um, this orange is the outside. This cleaner side is the inside. This is an original one. Um, the seal pops right in and I'm doing the same thing there. Okay, I've got a little bit of RTV running around what would be the back side. So when it's installed, it's gonna look like that. Again, a little bit just on the back side. The front's rubber against metal. And then you've got these side seals. So we're gonna put the last one in and I'll set the camera down so I can get my hands working here. All right. And it should show up adequately. Man, it is cold out. You can see my breath, but trust me. All right. So what we'll do here, uh, the same thing, we're going to look, this is the inside. So I'm going to put just a little bit of RTV on this back side of the groove. These are kind of uh, trapezoid shape. It looks pretty obvious the way they're going to fit in. This seals the shape of the, the cutout in here. So let's do that. Put some RTV. I just use my finger to spread it. You can use the, the applicator nozzle if you want, but I think this works fine. And you can, you know, use a screwdriver, a paper towel, what have you, to clean it up a little bit if it doesn't look great when you first lay it on. Okay. I think that looks decent there already. So what I'll do is just clean up my fingers a little bit here and 
Just take that, I'll bring that to the camera a little bit so you can see it. And we're just gonna pop that sucker in there. Now, what I think will happen, and I'm not an expert at this, but I've thought it through, that little bit of RTV should hold that in place. And when we go to assemble it after it's dry, I'm gonna do that on a different day, okay? We won't have to fight those little side seals, okay? It's gonna be held in there. Just make sure it's even. It'll probably stick out like a half a millimeter on each side, which is fine, because when it gets clamped down, it'll compress it a little bit here. Okay, so there you go. Nice and clean. I'm gonna get all that RTV off of this surface. And everything was pre-cleaned with a little bit of brake cleaner. All right, so I'm just gonna let this, you know, cure up. I'll probably take this inside. I'm gonna leave the heat lamp on this so the RTV here seals up good. And uh, yeah, there's a tiny plastic, or they call it a shoehorn, I think, that comes with the Felpro gasket. And what that's for is, you know, just making sure your seal edges don't catch on anything sharp metal. I went through and checked for burrs, I ran across it with just a light piece of like emery cloth just to be sure. What we're going to do later, we're going to take this, we're going to stick the little shoehorn in here to make sure we don't damage the edge of this, and then work it down. I'll probably even put a little RTV along the side of the block, and we'll put some on this surface and down here just really lightly. Uh, you don't want to gob it in there such that you'd actually create a leak path. Um, you want this to be pretty much metal to metal when it comes together but it could have a tacky little layer of that RTV. So after it cures, we'll come back and get the crank in there with some uh, assembly lube, a little bit of oil, and get all the main caps in, torqued in place, and then be able to put this cap on. But the key is you gotta have that uh, upper of the two-piece rear main seal in place, of course, before you put the crank in. I mean, you could snake it around, I guess, but I want it in place, all cured up, and go from there. All right, catch you on the next one.